Well, they just ring at God's time. Sister Susan Catherine found this private retreat in East Texas. They were in the Gospel of Mark. In hopes of finding much more. My whole life is a life of prayer. But getting here is a journey that started much earlier. Everybody had a story. Everybody could tell you what they were doing at 8 o'clock on February the 1st. This was the shuttle going over North Texas. God the Father Almighty. 20 years ago. And in Jesus Christ, his only son. Sister Catherine remembers she was cooking breakfast. These are my notes. I decided to write down everything I can remember. Edward Michaels, then a college planetarium director. I easily observe the eclipsing binary stars. And his daughter were up before dawn. They wouldn't miss this. Oh, yeah. I've never forgot it. But then we began to see this. It was a Saturday morning. Space Shuttle Columbia was on its descent to Florida. Our binoculars were immediately on target. Campbell Cox was having his morning coffee. We are seven miles east of Nacogdoches. All eyes fixed on the shuttle, a single contrail, until... Something's not right. There you see what appears to be multiple pieces. 39 miles over East Texas. Traveling at 12,000 miles an hour. The shuttle broke apart. Probably just stuff coming off the thermal tiles, I told my daughter. And then it became a roaring sound. Prolonged sound with an echo. That gradually increased in loudness. Edward spent a lifetime searching for stars. In this moment, we stood in silence. With his daughter. My eyes had not lied. He was searching no, for words. Uh, we realized at that moment, we just saw seven people die. These were people that had families. Sister Catherine knew what to do in these moments. It's been two decades, and the seven crew member names never left her mind or a post-it note on her table. Campbell Cox and his family rushed to the family farm. Debris was seen falling from the skies above Texas. Everywhere. To find pieces of that shuttle. A large piece that we found about a mile from here. Pastures, lakes, downtown parking lots, people's yards, school grounds. It was just everywhere. The debris field covered hundreds of miles over East Texas. Small town Nacogdoches was suddenly thrust into big time infamy. I think we quit counting after 150. They were looking and, uh, for anything. Anyway, we did find pieces throughout this field. We found pieces on the other side. But most importantly, pieces, uh, anyone they could identify. Who was I in 2003? We heard from Sue Kennedy. She is the county judge here Holy in Nacogdoches Mary, County. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. We start out with a prayer for the astronauts for their families. Judge Susan Kennedy was the first local public face for an international tragedy. And she we can't forget had to leave. I was the first person on the podium and the first person in the room. You really don't have an opportunity to weep or to mourn. God, come to my assistance. Oh, Lord, make haste to help me. Search and rescue teams have now been mobilized. Teams canvassed the rolling and rugged terrain. You felt duty bound. If it is a significant piece of the shuttle. Do not pick it up, do not touch it. Finding pieces felt like finding an answer to what happened. That's how you felt. Innocence. Day after day. The innocence of the adventure. Now get shaken. There's been no further communication with the shuttle Columbia. Columbia Houston UHF comm check. The Columbia's lost. There are no survivors. GC plank. Why GC? Lock the doors. Copy. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Sister Catherine took these religious vows in 2011. Her husband had died of cancer. Seven astronauts had died over her town. Pray for us sinners. And I found myself drawn more and more and more into the suffering of Christ. They were all in search of something. We had just witnessed the death of seven dedicated space explorers above our Texas home. From the stars. We found them over there. Down to the earth. Over there and some near the corral. And beyond. The same creator who names the stars. What happened on this day. Also knows the names of the seven souls we mourn today. Is a story of exploration. Because of his great power. Not one of them is missing. Both intended and but live unexpected. And we have to react to it with all the respect that is due. In Nacogdoches, I'm Jobin Puniker. I'm the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.